Hello, my name is John Bartholomew. The purpose of this short video is to show you how easy it is for you to create your own Instant Atlas dynamic reports using the Instant Atlas desktop package. I recently had the fortune of being in Ethiopia for a conference and when we were there we took some data from the Ethiopian Demographic and Health Survey which had just been published on a theme very important to Ethiopia that, that is maternal health we picked some key indicators and put them in a familiar Excel format um, into the Excel data manager so here's this data the next step was to download and install the Instant Atlas desktop package and one of the components all these are by the way available uh, free for evaluation um, one of these components is the dynamic report publisher which I have here on the left the step-by-step -step wizard makes it very easy first I hit next and I choose um, one of the number of templates uh, which are available each one to do different things in the layouts I'm choosing here a single map flash version and at the bottom I can change the language for publication here I'm going to stick with English I hit next now I have to add a map file now these map files are industry standard shape files um, I have to choose the map file that corresponds to my data in this case we're dealing with the um, the states of Ethiopia and I make sure that the feature codes that I select for my shape files match the feature codes that I see here on the right um, in my Excel data table which they do so I proceed to the next step for the moment I'm not going to put data in my report I can do that later so I skip that and hit next and here just to illustrate the functionality of additional layers I'm adding another layer the lower level community or waredas in Ethiopia I hit next and then I have the option of putting background maps so in this case I put one in these are explained in the documentation I hit next and then I I'm going to choose a color palette which suits me in this case a green one and I'm going to give my report a title I'm going to call it Ethiopia demo hit next and hit publish that's going to take a little while let's go back to the Excel data quickly and you'll see how this is set up by themes and then each of the indicators arranged underneath these themes and if you had a different time slices for your data you would have a third hierarchy in this case we're only dealing with one year's data 2011 when you download Instant Atlas one of the things that you uh, get as well is a special add-in for Excel called IA export and this is what's going to be used to put the data from Excel into my dynamic report let's take a look now how we're doing on the publication the publication is finished I'm going to unpack the report into a folder and when I hit view report I'm going to see it presented in my browser now remember we haven't done any design changes to this so this is how it comes out of the box in my chosen colors at the moment I don't have any real data so now I'm going to go to Excel and I'm going to export my data into the same folder as I've created the report and here it is and very quickly that data file will be created it's an XML format data file which sits then into the same folder so if I hit refresh now on my report I should see the data that I'm wanting to present now integrated into the mapping and here we are now as a next step I want to make design changes so let's now launch the Instant Atlas dynamic report designer I'm going to open that same file that I had before
and then make a few changes. For the purposes of designing, I tend to prefer an alternative view, which is a wireframe view. I'm going to remove. I can remove certain elements, so I'm going to remove, for example, the time series, which I don't need. I'm going to move the bar chart to the right by just clicking on it, moving it. Fitting into that little space there. I can add other objects. In this case, I'm going to add um, a metadata box, which has textual explanations of my data, and so on. Let's make another few changes. I'm going to put my title text and I'm going to change that to a red font. And then let's make the overall style and color of the whole report have a background color that is uh, a darker green. And let's make my borders a nice dark black. I hit save. And now if I refresh, I will see the changes I've just made integrated. Now if you're a perfectionist you could spend a long time changing the design of the reports. Um, in this particular case um, this is uh, just very quickly put together here. And then with some work you can end up putting other images, flags, coloring your buttons and doing other things and when you're ready you just put this report that at the moment is on my local drive and you put it on a website. So that's it. That's how you create your own reports within Statless. Please visit our website, download the software, and give it a try. Thank you very much.